Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about testing, something that not a lot of people focus on and don't feel like it might be important, but it's actually one of those skills that differentiate you from being a beginner that has no experience and a guy who has been here for multiple years in the industry okay and it really comes down to testing so let's get into it guys she want me to lock it down but i told her to pass the key you gotta slow it down girl you moving too fast for me nobody did it like this so they wonder they asking me if i can slow it down because it's coming too fast for me i came up from the bottom now look at me now they mad at me i cannot slow it down because it's coming too fast for me so why is testing so important Let's talk about this scenario. There's two developers, right? This could be a company that maybe has 50, 100, 1,000 developers working on the same application, but there's two developers we're going to focus on right now. One developer is working on the back end, okay? Another developer is working on the front end. One developer is working with React. Another developer is working with PHP Laravel. Now, let's say the front end components are depending on a REST API in the back end. Now, let's say for example, that back end developer decided to add some new changes to the REST API, right? Now that component that the front end guy was building is breaking, but he doesn't know that. The back end guy doesn't know that. He just pushes his changes and makes it live. Now imagine this, that component that the front end guy was working on is the main application. Let's say this was an e-commerce website, okay? The guy that changed that backend API, right? He actually did some changes on the cart system. Now, this is a live website. There's no testing. Nobody did any testing, right? This guy just pushed those changes, and then now the components on the front end no longer work. So what happens there? Somebody that's trying to buy, I don't know, a product from that, that business, can no longer buy that product because when they click on add to cart for whatever reason nothing is getting added to the cart and that's because those components were depending on that back-end api to work a certain way okay now it's the same way we could do the same scenario but in reverse let's say the front end guy does some changes to the components in the front end right and instead of clicking the add to cart function now is actually triggering the add to wish list function so you get where we're going like imagine this is a live website this is a real business if that happens now the business loses money now the business can no longer sell the products and guess what happens somebody's gonna get fired somebody's gonna get in trouble okay it could be all the way at the top to all the way to the bottom. Somebody F this up, okay? But if they have some tests set up on their application, they wouldn't have to even worry about those things because before they even push anything to production, they have to pass all the tests. And if they don't pass those tests, then they can't push into production, okay? So that's like one of those crazy situations that you might say, ah, this never happens. But we just saw this the other day mind you like it was a situation with hbo testing email <laughs> right this is something that just happened recently okay hbo's integration test email baffles subscribers prompts memes and jokes it goes crazy okay because this email went out there and was basically sent out to everybody but if there would have been some tests set up for you know for emails the proper way the users would have never seen this mistake okay it's something like this people started getting emails where it says hbo max integration test email number one okay this template is used by integration tests only you get what i'm saying like this is done in production this got sent out in production to every user that's a hbo max subscriber that right there brings down the company brings credibility okay it makes the whole team bad right or it makes them look bad okay it's a mistake that could happen but if they had tests that wouldn't have been happening okay so this is just like i said a scenario that could happen at any moment but if you have the right test you should be good okay which companies run tests on their apps 
basically every major company runs tests on their applications okay the moment an application becomes live you should be running tests on everything that you are creating okay now again just like i said in the beginning of this video now a lot of people focus on this because people focus on going through courses or tutorials crash courses uh, blogs you know twitter posts etc right and just focus just on the code i want to learn how, what a for loop is i want to learn what a while loop is i want to learn what a variable is i want to learn what a function is okay but no one focuses on these things on the beginning and it's usually because they have no experience about these things as far as like you know working in the industry but once you get into the industry this is a standard now for anybody that's wondering uh, maybe i'll just worry about this later on okay yeah you could be that guy and say i'll worry about this once i get hired but the truth is that if you show up with this type of skills and have that mentality of like hey i want to run some tests on my components i want to run some tests on my apis i want to run some tests on my functions right etc right now when you go to this job interviews and they're going over your code they look at your components they're seeing hey this is the person's stories on storybook they could see everything that they've done great components look amazing but then at the same time they go into your github and they look at your project and they're like hmm this guy also has some tests so that means he took the care to just say you know what i want to make sure that this works Okay, I've seen them done before, even in applications on portfolio reviews that I've done where things don't work. <laughs> things don't work and they don't work for a reason because no one really tested them. They just say, hey, it works on my computer and I think it looks good and oh, let me put it as my portfolio project. But if you ran some tests and you had everything, you know, running through this test, you could see it's not working. That button that's supposed to show up doesn't show up. Or, hey, the API is not returning back any data. That's why it's not showing anything on my page. You get what I'm saying? So running tests can, I can't say it can guarantee you a job because nothing guarantees you a job. But what it can do is it shows you're on a different level. You're not the same level as some random dude just trying to become a developer. You're literally doing the same thing that the pros do. Okay. So let's go to the next thing. What are the types of testing, right? There's what we call a static test, which is when you check for spelling, right? Uh, things that might be missing on a page and visuals, right? If somebody gives you a design and says, hey, this is the design for the page. This is how it's supposed to look. Visually, you could go in there and say, okay, this looks like this, this looks like this. Oh, oops, I missed this. And then now you could go in and fix that, okay? That's what we call a static test. Now, the next one is unit test. So this is when we check for functionalities. Let's say you have a function and that function was supposed to return back to you a number, right? And it's supposed to be, let's say with two decimals. Okay. It's supposed to be a hundred dollars and 99 cents. That's what it's supposed to return you back. Okay. But instead of that is returning you a string or is returning null or undefined or returning some random number that is not what it's supposed to return back. So that tells you somewhere in the logic is wrong. So that's what we call unit testing. Now, the next one that we have is integration. Integration is when you check multiple units, meaning functions or small features, and then you test them how they work together. Okay. Imagine a uh, react I don't know, a react application, a landing page. Okay. And then there's a input field and then there's a form and then there's a modal that's supposed to pop up once everything gets filled in. This is what we call integration tests where you're checking every single thing, how it works together, how all of these things are, they're passing the test. Can all of these things work together? Can the input field send the data? for the form state for the form state to be able to pass that data to the modal to say thank you yes we validated that it's an email you get what i'm saying like that's what we call an integration test now our end-to-end -end test is when we say you know what let's run the application and let's set up some type of steps a user comes into amazon 
lands on Amazon, clicks on a product. After clicking on the product, clicks add to cart. After adding to cart, the user goes in, fills out their first name, last name, address, information, then goes in and clicks on, hey, I want to add my credit card. They add the credit card, and then from there goes in, submits it, and then from there, it's supposed to show them a thank you page, and it's supposed to tell them when will they receive the, the item, okay? That right there is an end-to-end -end test. Usually you will set up some type of bot or some type of system that will run the application and actually loads up on a browser or on an instance, right? The whole application and goes in and does all of those little steps. Okay. Now you guys are watching this on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, some other platform, maybe TikTok. who knows where you watching this at. Um, but what I would like to say to you guys is, Hey, Come try our codingphase.com. We're going to be working on this course. I'm going to link it on the description right now. And for those of you guys that are watching this video on the course itself, hey, man, welcome. Okay, let's get ready and let's get started.